Scott, your story focuses on cold fusion and its resurgence. Can you explain to me what cold fusion is? Well, the interesting thing about cold fusion is it was announced about 20 years ago at the University of Utah by a couple of scientists there, and it set the world on fire. I mean, this notion that you could harness the power of the sun, but you could do it at room temperature on a tabletop would, would change everything about energy consumption in our world today. But after that announcement was made, top laboratories all around the world tried to replicate the experiment and they were not able to get the same results. So cold fusion was thoroughly discredited. The scientists who made the initial claim were, were ruined and were hounded out of science. And the term cold fusion sort of became a catchphrase for junk science. Well, a funny thing happened on the way to oblivion. Several laboratories all around the world said, wait a minute, let's, let's keep looking at this and see if we can do something with it. And now the original experiment has been replicated a hundred times in laboratories all around the world. And the Pentagon is investing in this now. It's not certain what's going on here, but there is clearly an effect that scientists are still struggling to explain that is something very much like the fusion that we see in the sun, but at room temperature, on a tabletop, and without harmful radiation. Still very controversial, but top scientists in the world today believe that there is something going on here in physics that we do not understand, and it could potentially be a major power source in the future.